long-term readiness plan for an outplacement consultant. If you want to hang your sign out and say you are interested in you know, doing outplacement, selling outplacement services, raise your hand. Okay, great. Has, has anyone ever told you what you need to do to make that happen? <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> um, this, this is, this is going to help you, I think, um, because what I did in about three days to ramp up for this AES project was I didn't sleep, I didn't, I didn't really have time to breathe, I did a whole lot, but I was right here, right? I was, I was certified, I was a career coach, I was a salesperson, I wasn't a CEO yet, I changed my title recently. Networker, speaker, blogger, master of my own domain, a total rock star at collecting my inbox from a thousand emails to less than 10 in 20 seconds or less, that's a specialty of mine. So, you know, Laura, maybe you'll bring me back next time. So good. Um, but then what I had to do was I needed to scale my infrastructure, right? Immediately, like yesterday, to make this happen. Because, of course, I told her that I was an expert at this. Right? Have you ever done that? Oh, yeah. Right? We totally pretend. It's great. It's great fun. Um, so I needed coaches. I needed writers. I needed someone who was organized. Because that was not me. Truly, I'm not organized. I needed a bookkeeper, I needed a proofreader, I needed a whole lot of crap. Okay? So, what I did was this is my short term readiness plan, guys. So, if you decide that you want to move into outplacement, do this now. Consider doing this now, not when you get that call on Lucy. Not when you have to ramp up in, you know, three days. I developed an outplacement statement of work. I needed to, you know, explain to them how I was going to deliver the services that they were asking me for. I created job descriptions for the open positions. I hired four writers. I hired one coach. I hired a bookkeeper. All in three days. Thank God for CDI. I don't know how I would have done it without CDI. Um, recruited, interviewed, hired coaches and writers. Wrote a subcontractor agreement, which, by the way, is in the CDI archive stuff. You can get one of those right away. Determined which services packages to offer. Develop the outplacement contract. I had to create a contract for them because I needed something for them to sign, right? Which I think there is something like that also on CDI. Mm -hmm. I fine tuned my workflow. This was challenging. I needed to understand how the work was going to come in, right? It's when you get a lot of clients individually, it's very, it's very similar, but now you've got all your individual clients and then you've got 20 more that you've got to deal with. What's the intake process for that? Who's going to call them? Is it going to be you? Will your writers call them? How will you assign the work? How will you QA the work? So you need to design that, that workflow. And then the client management process, who's going to reach out to the head of, head of HR to tell them how it's going? How often will you reach out to the head of HR? So this, this was all, and I'm happy to answer some of these questions later if you want more specifics, but sort of a deep dive, this is what I did. And I hope that you'll do it before I did it, right? Um, you have to build in QA in the process, which of course we all do with our individual clients, making sure that everything is proofread and it's, um, you know, it's ready to go out, it's show ready, you know, like we say. And I initiated payroll for my new staff. At the time it was PayPal, and that's okay if it is still, but you know, it, it just have to find a way, make sure that you get their 1099s, all everything that goes in with that, right? That was a lot of work for three days. But I did it. <laughs> I did it. And you can do it too. Okay? You can do it too.